Welcome back to the channel guys and girls. Um, no, this is comp number 5 I think. Sorry, I don't want to waste too much time, that's why I'm just doing it while I'm running. Um, Hazelmere, water is down super low as you guys saw in the pre-fishing video, but we did get on to a few good fish, but 60 anglers or so I think now today, so it's going to be tough. There's not a lot of spots, so I think the first spot you choose is going to be key. It's got to be on a good spot, and you've got to be able to get a couple of key fish in early bells, I reckon. So, especially with a little bit of cloud cover over, let's see what happens. Um, I'm just going to run to a spot where I've got my biggest fish the last time, and see if there's more fish around there, and then go from there. Just do a little bit of junk fishing, so to speak. Not a big fish, but it's a start, guys. was a 40 guys. I saw rattled from well not rattled but still trying to sort my life out from the previous fish. <sighs> mm, okay well moving on. There's some fish in this little spot.
Storm of about 41 that are, or 40, 41, 43. Dropped out of the path. Yes, see. Can't do stupid stuff like that. Hey guys, nearly missed that hook up. Oh, the mess here. There's so much for me to go into, it's not even funny. This is more the size we really need for this comp. My rod was so lazy in my hand. Nice fish. Random. Oh, super random. Get away from me. Come here. How random was that? Like I was nearly, I was basically done with my car. So I was like here in the middle of nowhere. That's a long one, guys. Skinny but long. Long ish.
And they all feel so good in the beginning, but then they get smaller. Unfortunately. than the other fish but it's only a 35 so it's not gonna do anything for me unfortunately That fish bit it on the previous cast as well, smacked it and he did a hook up. This time, that thing is down inside. Oh. Okay, I'll sort that out just now. Took it on the previous cast, came back for the second time. Awesome, it doesn't always happen like that, but sometimes it does. <laughs> I pulled one of your moves as well, really. Yeah? My first fish in the trough. No hook in the trough. I can go. Yeah. And I always need a hook in. Why is it my moves? Hold on. setting on my spot here. Yeah. Off my spot here. Yeah. Is this 35 uh, feet? Just throw the 38 away. Uh, 36. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we both playing together. We, we, we worked as a team. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that is good. Here we go. Midday update, pretty decent bag going. Got three fish of 40, I think it's a 44, should have been a 44.5, but anyways, a 41.5 and a 40 or 40.5, and then a couple of half patties. Good bag. Highly doubt it's a winning bag or anything like that, or even a top five bag. I don't think so. It's the weather is like there should be big fish coming out somewhere. However, I'm still going to stick to my guns, I'm still going to stick in this area. I'm not leaving this area until I have 5 over 40. If I don't get 5 over 40, then I'll spend the whole day here, and that's just how it is. If I catch a really big fish, then yeah, so be it. Then we switch into a different gear, we start running around if we need to. But for now, I need to get another 2 fish over 40 or 40 and more in this area before I ever consider going anywhere else.
end of my day. We've got about 10 minutes to time in. So I'm going to head back and yeah, get that done. Not a bad day. I think my end bag for free fish is about 129. I didn't calculate what the power fish is, but it's going to be over 200. So that's a good day on the water. Um, just couldn't get my fifth fish over 40. I had it in the 12. I dropped it this morning and it jumped out. But that's what it is, unfortunately. These things happen. It sucks. But it happens. Anyway, so good day for me. I don't know where I'm going to get, we'll see. I don't know how the guys did at the dam wall side. This side, I think guys were struggling a bit. I know one of the other competitors, Philip, he did really well this morning. He caught them. And one of the other guys, I don't know, that really hammered a couple of fish. So, we'll see. Let's see what happens. The next time you guys see me, I'll be at home there. Cheers. Well guys, as you can see, that was an awesome comp, um, really had a lot of fun, I haven't had that much fun in an actual comp in a while, and it was awesome just to get out there and be able to catch fish and not struggle all day. Um, look, the area I was fishing in, even in pre-fishing, I didn't catch big, big fish, I caught like a 48 was my biggest, but I knew there was a pretty decent concentration of good sized fish, like your 40 which is going to always do well in a comp if you can get a bag of just 40s or 41s 42 43s mid 40s you're generally going to do well and that's the reason why i stuck to my guns i just stuck it out there and i basically rotated the whole day around in that bay i never left it once no i just rotated the whole day in the bay and yeah it ended up getting me a fourth place so chuffed about that I think that, that was comp number five and now I've hit four podiums out of five comps which is absolutely epic for me um, yeah it's been a magic year I honestly could not have planned this any better yeah can't complain all right guys so yeah my garage is an absolute mess but there's a good reason for it and that's another subject I want to quickly bring up um, I am in the process of moving so I'm busy packing and whatnot else and hence the reason it looks the way that it does but um, I'm not going to be able to put out videos for a while purely because of the move and once we've moved I need to set up shop again so I can work and stuff like that so probably my next video is only going to be in uh, what well, our next comp we're going to have two comps back to back uh, meaning the Saturday and Sunday comp each day so that's going to be epic so do yourselves a favor if you have not subscribed hit the subscription button turn on your notification bell you're going to know exactly when that comp comes up um, yeah comp day quick want to chat about the baits just quickly and again excuse the mess so first bait up is oops first bait up is a basic black and red fluke this is actually uh, blue water gears own product they have this in the black and red and then a watermelon color but yeah i mean as you can see it's always straight it's it's really just a nice solid fluke cannot complain about it that one there and then lastly was this guy the nico baits go have a look on this side awesome new baits um yeah, this is basically what do you call it you can't call it a laser tech because it's not laser tech but it's got the same properties in terms of stretchiness it can stretch it will last you a ton of fish however this little guy and i'm gonna get underwater footage um at some point in time of this but this little guy has got pretty much the same action as a car tech in all honesty it has got this lazy wide kick to it which is really epic only difference is it's gonna last many fish i mean my little nico leech i've got 25 30 fish on it now and it still looks like new but it's really epic and another good thing about this product is biodegradable it is literally safe to consume however please don't go eating these baits <laughs> and yeah i don't think it's going to taste very well very nice but uh yeah safe to consume it is biodegradable so 
it's environmentally friendly, which is always an epic, a plus and mother. Anyway, it's guys and girls, um, yeah, everybody take care, and I will definitely see you as soon as I possibly can. Cheers, everyone.